Mark, you're a great accordion player. Could you tell me when the accordion was first introduced into Cajun music? Well, compared to the instrument that you play, it's a, it's a newcomer. My mm -hmm. father said when he was a little boy, he never forgets the first time he'd ever seen an accordion. That was My father was born in 1904, and he said as a little boy, uh, he was used to the fiddles and the triangles, but he had never seen an accordion before. And when did you start to make them? Well, I began tinkering with that, you know, about the age of 12, 15 years old, something like that. I began taking apart my little horner, taking it apart, taking it apart to see what made it tick. And I actually got into the actual fabrication of it in 1960. As a small child, I fell in love with Cajun people, and then I fell in love with their music and everything that it, their way of life represented. So when I opened up Savo Music Center, I wanted this place to be a place that specialized strictly for Cajun musicians. Very informal, very loose, but when the Cajun musician walked in, he was the, the number one person. So over the years, uh, I tried to reinforce this belief in the people that you are somebody, you are a fine musician, you play the best music there is in the world, strictly and simply because that belongs to you. You didn't borrow it from anybody else, that's yours. This is something that takes the Cajun people and puts them up on the pedestal and say, hey, this is happening because we are who we are and we are who we are because we didn't conform, we didn't give in to this melting pot syndrome. We believed enough in ourselves that we maintained our beliefs and our traditions and our way of life. And it paid off, look what's happening. It's always evolving. What really uh, matters to me is why are people doing this, you know? I mean, I like the old songs. I think you, you have to be able to play the old songs the way they should be played. Because there's nothing like sitting with an older musician who just, who perfectly dissects time in that he plays the song just the, the right rhythm it should be played, the right notes, no more than is needed, and just does everything just the way it should be done. There's something you can really learn about that.